Two men accused in an organized retail theft operation in Fairfax County could face a much tougher sentence because of a new Virginia law. Yeah, this all comes as Fairfax County sees a sharp decline in retail theft. Still unclear if the new law has anything to do with that, but today we're taking a look at that problem and also what potential solutions are now in place. Northern Virginia Bureau reporter Max Marcilla joining us live tonight from Springfield Mall. Yeah, and Max, let's first start with the drop in retail thefts. What is the county doing to attribute that? Well, not that new law that we're about to speak about because that just started seven days ago with the turn of the calendar. But when it comes to what they are crediting, well, look at they're looking at their summer crime initiative, which puts extra patrols in certain areas. There's a Fairfax County officer here at the Springfield Town Center right now, and they say the numbers back it up. Members of Fairfax County's Tyson's Urban Team posing with bags and bags of items they say were in the hands of criminals they busted. New police data shows from January to May, the county averaged 619 shoplifting incidents a month. In June, the number fell to 573. We saw some good reductions in overall retail theft in the month of June because of our enhanced commitment but we've got a long way to go. Possibly the biggest bust came the day the calendar flipped. More than $37,000 worth of perfumes, jeans, backpacks found in the car and hotel room of two men who were arrested July 1st. And now... There's a new law in Virginia that we're going to take advantage of. Organized retail theft is now a Class 3 felony. In other words, up to 20 years behind bars if guilty. That punishment could be handed down to two or more people who conspire to steal more than $5,000 of retail items in a 90 day period, like the people who were accused of stealing these items on the first day this law was in effect. We worked pretty hard on that to at least get the dollar threshold raised. Brad Haywood is the chief public defender in Arlington and Falls Church and leads the organization Justice Forward Virginia. He doesn't view the new law as necessary and says it might not be used often, but he does think raising the dollar amount was important. If there's an organized retail theft gang and they're stealing less than $5,000 in three months, is that really something that we need some brand new statute? All right, so that was one of the arguments that Haywood and others used to increase that dollar threshold from the initially proposed $1,000 to the now $5,000. Reporting live in Springfield, Max Marcilla, DC News Now.